Welcome, I'm Dr. Melina Roberts and I want to talk about acid blocking medications because acid blocking medications are probably one of the most prescribed medications in North America. And I'm not saying that they don't work, that they can be effective um, in terms of treating the symptoms, but I want to go through the reason that they're not an ideal medication for us to be taking on a long-term basis. So one of the major problems with the acid reducing medications is that we actually need acid in our stomach in order to break down the foods that we're eating. That it's extremely important in order to break down those foods and be able to properly absorb the nutrients from the foods we're eating. So we really need those acids for that. And if we're not getting that proper metabolism, then that means that we can be missing out on vitamins and minerals, and so that can lead to some deficiencies, which can lead to a host of other problems and lead us more susceptible to chronic disease. And it can actually change our metabolism when we're not properly absorbing the nutrients from the foods we're eating. So this is one major problem with these acid-reducing medications. Now, a second problem with that acid-reducing medications is that that acid in our stomach is actually a very strong protective mechanism in the body because what it does is it kills off infectious agents that shouldn't be in our body. Now, if we're not producing enough acid, it means that some of those infectious agents can be making their way into our body and can really throw off the proper balance of those microbes that live within our digestive tract. And when it throws off that those microbes in our digestive tract, it can really throw off our body's immune system as well. So this can also be a major problem because we can be letting in microbes that really shouldn't be in our bodies. And the third problem with acid-reducing medications is that these medications are really not treating the underlying cause. So they're just treating symptoms. So they're really not a good long-term solution to treating something like acid reflux, GERD, heartburn. So I hope that all makes sense to you. And I think that what we need to do is we need to explore causes and underlying causes and really focus on those things when it comes to having reflux or GERD or heartburn. And when we treat the cause, then we can get lasting, sustainable results, which are really more beneficial for how our bodies function. Thank you so much for listening. I hope that you will share this with your friends you will press the like button, make a comment below, and until next time, continue to learn, grow, and build health.